Hey, what's up y'all? This is Shah from EOS Blocksmith. I just want to take a second to make a tutorial video uh, on how to uh, do the Wax mainnet token swap. Since uh, I just went through this two days ago, the Wax uh, EOS IO blockchain just launched two days ago, which is a pretty exciting milestone in the EOS ecosystem and for the Wax, um, the Wax system itself. So uh, I wanted to walk people through since uh, I've been kind of monitoring the uh, Wax Telegram channels and it looks like uh, while some people are kind of breezing through this, others are having issues and, uh, and it, it's a little uh, unclear how some of these things work. So, um, so here goes it. I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible but get you all the pertinent information. So uh, for starters, you just wanna to go to the wax.io website uh, and uh, there you can uh, see all the links at the top and we're gonna click on uh, the token swap uh, tab. And that takes you to their token swap website where it uh, conveniently tells you how much time you guys have left to do the token swap. Uh, the wax team has decided to give everyone a two month window between June 30th of 2019 and August 30th of 2019 to uh, carry over your token swap. After which point, if you have ERC20 WAX tokens, they are essentially gonna be useless. Uh, they are not gonna be uh, something that you could trade in for anything anymore. So uh, make sure that you do this uh, in the next uh, two months. And I would highly encourage you to do it as soon as possible because there's kind of an added advantage to doing it sooner uh, rather than later and I'll get to that at the very end of this video. So if you have already done uh, your token swap, uh, then I would still encourage you to kind of go towards the end of this video because there's some useful information that uh, I only came across by reading uh, uh, <laughs> thousands of telegram messages and kind of reading between the lines on some of this stuff. So you may still find uh, some of this video useful. Uh, they've got a nifty difty uh, set of videos. Uh, this is the first one that shows you how to do this. Um, they don't have audio, so that's why part of the reason I made this tutorial to kind of walk you through some of this stuff, but they are super useful. I use them to walk through uh, all of this process just two days ago. Uh, if you scroll down, it takes you to um, uh, their three step, uh, three quote unquote basic steps of the wax token swap process. I think it's a little bit more complicated than what's spelled out here. And we'll kind of go through all the uh, issues and the pitfalls that, that are catching uh, uh, some people up, but hopefully you go through smoothly. Um, but for starters, uh, you want to um, create an all access, I'm sorry, all access wax account. And um, I'm gonna show you that in a second. One thing to note is if you already have an Opskins account, I repeat, if you already have a, an Opspin, a Opskins account, uh, I don't think that you need to set up a Wax All Access account um, because your Opskins account is your Wax All Access account. Okay, so I've just clicked to um, create a new account here on the Wax All Access um, site. And the first thing that pops up is, you know, terms of agreement, blah, blah, blah. Sure, I agree. And then it um, basically takes me this um, two page uh, kind of demographics thing, which is super easy. The first one is just what your name is and um, you can uh, mess with your password. The second one is just enabling two factor authentication that they really want you to do. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm just gonna, bypass setting that up. You should be able to set that up and just uh, send it from your email. Once you set up your Wax All Access account, then you go to account.wax.io, um, which again is um, a link off of this site here, this main token swap uh, site. You just click that there. I will tell you this, there is there exists a glitch that I've encountered myself. Sometimes when you click account.wax.io, instead of taking you uh, here, which is where it should take you, it takes you back to uh, logging into the Wax All Access account. And it's a glitch that's frustrated a lot of people. It frustrated me a little bit a couple times, uh, not when I was setting it up, but later. And so you um, may have to try a different browser to get to this. So 
Uh, just be aware that that glitch exists and make sure that you're getting to account.wax.io if you have to use a different browser to do that or if you have to like refresh the cache of your browser so that it doesn't default send you to another place, you wanna get to here. And this is where it says create account or begin wax token swap and you wanna begin wax token swap because that does make you a wax account, a, a wax mainnet account. So we're gonna click that right now And then it goes through small process. Again, we gotta agree, blah, blah, blah. And then it gets you uh, to this site. Okay, so here's where it gets starts to get a little bit trickier if you're not familiar with EOS IO. You need to create your own public key, private key pair. And this video really walks you through it uh, nicely. Uh, if you don't have Scatter set up already, uh, then you need to download Scatter um, when they've got the link right here. Now, Scatter is currently in version 11. This is another little kind of hiccup in this whole process. And uh, the WAX team was unaware that Scatter was in the process of upgrading to version 11 when they uh, set all this tutorial stuff up. So it kind of threw a monkey wrench in um, how this all works. But long story short is for now, in order to do the token swap, you want to have Scatter 10.1.2, which is not the current version. So I would suggest that you, uh, if you already have Scatter 11, I'd suggest that you go download Scatter 10.1.2, which you can still download, and then use that to do this first step. Uh, and then once you've completed the first step, you can uh, switch back to Scatter 11. If you haven't downloaded Scatter, period, then just get the 10.1.2, don't get the version 11, so that you can make sure that this first step works out okay for you. Okay, so for the purposes of brevity, I'm not gonna show you how to download and set up Scatter. Uh, if you watch this one minute uh, video, it'll show you exactly how to do it, how to set it up, and how to create a uh, new uh, public, public key, private key pair as a text. That's where I'm at right now in this step. Uh, hopefully those of you that have used Scatter before or other EOS IO chains know how to do this. But long story short, I'm at a page where I have just asked Scatter to generate a new public key, private key pair. This is my public key. It's showing it to me right here. If I click reveal, it will show me my private key that goes with this public key. And I can kind of flip back and forth with this button. If I hit copy, it will copy both the public and private key and then you can paste that in a place where you, a safe place where you keep all your passwords. Um, but I just wanna copy the public key, that's all we need to do, so I'm gonna hit on this link right here, and I'm going to uh, paste that here in the public key section, and then all we need to do is enter our two-factor authentication. So let's see, 789, 826, and then click confirm public key. And that is, uh, has generated us um, a new account on the WAX mainnet. And the way that I know that is that it's given me the account name here. And uh, uh, this is the account nickname. That's the public key, but this is kind of the, the short nickname for that account. So I'll probably copy this and add this to my records. I can always find this from using from, from searching this anyway. But let's continue. And now uh, it's gonna ask me to send my ERC wax tokens, ERC20 wax tokens to uh, this address, which is my personal custom burn address. This is where any wax tokens, ERC20 wax tokens that are sent to this Ethereum address will be credited under my new WAX mainnet account, the one that I just created a public key, private key pairing, the one that I just created essentially. And so you wanna copy this down. Uh, you can find this later, but it's a little tricky to find this. So I would copy this somewhere safe and put it down. And then you know that if you send tokens between, anytime you send tokens to this address, um, any WAX ERC20 tokens between now and the next 58 days, it will be credited to your account that you just created on the mainnet. So I'm gonna click continue. And you have successfully swapped your WAX tokens, woohoo! 
And uh, it says, please allow 30 minutes to receive your wax token. So if you're sending it from an exchange where you've, where you've been holding ERC20 tokens or maybe uh, my Ether wallet or a ledger or wherever you're keeping uh, your uh, ERC20 wax tokens, um, you can send them to this uh, address and just wait 30 minutes. And then when you're done, you're gonna see this. This is your dashboard for your new account. Um, and it basically shows you how many WAX protocol tokens you have sent uh, or swapped over. Right now mine sends zero because I haven't sent any over yet. Um, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll show you what's unstaked, staked, and rewards. When you send WAX ERC20 tokens to this address, they are automatically staked for you and it's usually split half and half. Let's say you have uh, 10,000 WAX tokens sent here. 5,000 will be uh, staked for CPU. 5,000 will be staked for bandwidth. You don't need to really know what that means at this point, but just know they're staked. Okay, so now that you're at this point, you've created your account, um, there are other things you can do in the WAX website dashboard. For example, you can click here to vote um, and you just connect scatter and kind of try to use their vote, voting mechanism here. Um, uh, if you go back to tokens, let's say you forgot your uh, burn address, this is where you'd go to get it, is upgrade more ERC20 tokens and then it just gives you the same burn address that we had. Um, we don't need to do that, so I'm gonna go back. Um, but I would suggest, I highly suggest that for all of your needs, anything else that you need to do at this point, now that you've created your account and done the token swap, I would highly suggest that you do everything on Blocks.io. Um, blocks.io is like the premier uh, block explorer for like EOS IO based chains, uh, at least the ones that they support and major props to Sayed and the EOS Cafe Block team for uh, adding the WAX network into their block explorer. But basically, long story short, from here, you can um, do tons of actions, like basically everything you need to do. You can transfer tokens, uh, you can claim your um, uh, GBM rewards, which are the Genesis block rewards that everyone's excited about getting the, the, the doubling of your um, of your tokens, you can claim that every 24 hours here. And there's even a timer here once you're logged in with Scatter. So you just click um, to log in with Scatter. I'm not gonna do it right now, but uh, you would click Scatter and then choose your account. Um, you can buy and sell RAM, which is a, a speculative thing that some people are talking about already. Um, you can also get, uh, you can also vote, which is uh, really the first thing that you wanna do once you're set up. You wanna go in here and vote for, I don't know, I think there's like 23 block producers that's like mostly the wax, uh, the wax people themselves, uh, with the exception of strong block and hyper blocks. Um, but uh, I just kinda clicked on all of them with my account cause I wanna get the voting rewards and um, I don't know what the minimum is uh, of VPs that you have to vote for, but I just say vote for everybody now, and then later you can kind of change and be discerning once we start getting uh, some different um, uh, guild candidates. Um, and then um, uh, there's some other cool stuff. If you go to more uh, and you go to chain, uh, you can see uh, the percentage of RAM bought, you can see the total supply. Again, major props to uh, the EOS Cafe block team for doing uh, all this and incorporating all this stuff. Um, so, and then the other thing you can do is, let's say you're, I'm not even logged in right now with my scatter account because I don't wanna vote or do any of those actions right now, which I would need to do, but I can just search my account here. Uh, that's the account nickname. You can also put the public, the full public uh, account if you want. I'm gonna hit search and then we can look at my account, which really doesn't have any information because there's no wax in it. Uh, but but uh, just know that you can kind of search any um, uh, account, including yours, without even logging in. Uh, there's a couple other resources I wanna tell you about. Uh, number one is um, EOS42 just came out today uh, and said that they made a wax RAM um, um, website where you can kind of look at the price of RAM on wax and you can look at like the previous uh, orders and you can actually connect with Scatter and buy and sell RAM through this if for some reason you didn't wanna do it through, through uh, blocks.io. Uh, so major props to Ryan and Andrew and Phil and whoever else worked on this on the EOS 42 team. Uh, I think it's really cool that we're starting to see um, 
uh, all these kind of teams step up and contribute to the WAX uh, network. I, I'm assuming that a lot of these teams are going to uh, try to be a guild on the WAX network. So that really gets me excited because I do think it's an extremely exciting EOS IO chain. Um, uh, but uh, those are kind of the resources I want to tell you about. Hopefully that gave you an overview of how this all works. The last thing that I will say that is kind of an interesting thing, I'm not sure if everybody really followed this because it wasn't really well spelled out. And this is kind of like a really big take home kind of message. Uh, so if you haven't listened to any other crap that I've been saying, definitely listen to this. So during this two month uh, token swap period, if you get rewards, which you can claim every day, you can claim your little bit of your reward. So let me back up a second so, so everybody understands. If you stake tokens through this um, token swap procedure um, as part of the Genesis block reward system, you will, after three years, double the amount of tokens that you are uh, putting in right now or porting over. But um, that happens on a daily basis. So you don't earn that lump sum at the end of three years. You earn a little bit. So you earn um, whatever your total sum is divided by 10,095 days, which is exactly what three years is. Uh, every day you earn that much so that once you get to three years, you've essentially doubled your rewards. But what that means is that every day you're getting a little reward right now. And if you take that reward, if you go claim that reward every day, either here or like I said, I would I would do it through blocks.io uh, under the uh, claim GBM rewards. Uh, if you go claim that every day and, and restake that because the reward comes unstaked, if you restake that, then you are going to essentially be compounding your rewards during this two month window. And that has some interesting implications on like the total circulating supply um, uh, that I'm not going to go into right now. But anyway, you can end up um, earning more than double your tokens uh, at the end of three years because you're staking these uh, extra rewards that you're getting right now in this two month period. So uh, take home message. It's better for everybody. You're going to get more than double your tokens. Um, so anyway, hope that this video was useful. Reach out to us at the Blocksmith Telegram channel if you have any questions about this. Um, there's tons of questions and comments on the Wax Telegram channels. There's several of them. Uh, and there's lots of super uh, amazing community members who are answering, patiently answering uh, uh, everyone's questions, uh, everyone that's having issues with this. Um, that's it for this video. Catch you guys on the next one.